Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. And today we're going to discuss my opinion, my way of thinking about a very controversial topic that's very poorly misunderstood. And that's metabolic rate, my metabolism. I don't want to slow down my metabolism. I want to speed up my metabolism. Metabolism, metabolism, metabolism. And it's all about calories in, calories out, and the thermodynamic theory of, of, of weight gain, weight loss, and health, which is absolute nonsense. So here's where I started thinking about all the bullshit that my patients talk about, their metabolic metabolism and my metabolism's too slow and it's my thyroid and it's my... I was, I was uh, um, stopped at a red light just yesterday. And um, my son, he's two and a half years old, he's very big into his muscle cars, okay? So we parked and we stopped at the, at the traffic light and this beautiful, beautiful midnight blue um, muscle car pulls up next to us. And my son's, look, daddy, look, daddy, look, daddy. It's, it's Lightning McQueen. It's Storm Jackson, okay? Now he's into his cars. But this car's sitting there, and the whole car is shaking. It's going, brum, 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 And I mean, it's got a V200 engine, and it's just got pipes and things coming out of every orifice that it can possibly find. And it's this souped up, big rim. I mean, just, it looks beautiful for those of you who are car I mean, I, I was actually in awe of what a magnificent piece of art, piece of art this was. It should be hanging on a wall somewhere. It shouldn't be driving around on the roads, but be that as it may. I mean, it was just beautiful. It was making all these noises. And, and the guy in there was this big muscle guy and he was smiling. And my son just went ballistic, jumping up and down. I mean, he was shredding the little uh, straps that were holding him in his car seat just to be able to look at this car. I'm in a Tesla. <laughs> I'm in a Tesla. My car ain't making no noise, folks. It's stopped. It's parked. That's how much noise my Tesla made. Nothing. Brum, 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 Okay? And we pull out, and I just, I, I pulled out really slowly when the light went green so that my son could see this thing go off. And... It goes off, and it was just this guy just had the most beautiful sticker on the back of his car. <laughs> Little thing, and it said, makes a lot of noise, not very fast. It was just the coolest thing, because it had this beautiful muscle car, and it was just really souped up so nicely, and he had just the, the most appropriate thumb-in-cheek little sticker. Makes a lot of noise, not very fast. And guess what? I stepped on the gas on my Tesla, well, I stepped on the battery on in my Tesla, and whew, we sailed right by him without making a piece of noise. And I waved him, and he waved back, and my son was just so happy. Now, what the hell has that got to do with metabolism? Everything. Everything. Okay? And, and here's what it has to do with it, is that the rate at which your body utilizes macro and micronutrients fuel, if you call it that, is based upon how efficient, how efficient your body is working. And the thing that regulates that is two things. Number one, the body has to prioritize, has to prioritize getting rid of excess fuel, getting rid of abundance. If you've taken in too much, the body has to prioritize the storage and burning off of that excess, even if it uses what we call futile cycles, which we'll talk about in a little bit. That's the way that body protects itself from flooding an excess. Okay? Um, it, it is like a lead off valve on a, on a dam wall, a sluice gate on a dam wall that lets off abundance. So that's the first part. And that is a very, very common problem in the modern era of abundance. So, uh, when that car next to me, that muscle car was going brum, 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 but it wasn't going anywhere. It was using up in a futile cycle a huge amount of uh, energy to create all that vibration, to create that bouncing up and down, to create that noise. It wasn't very efficient. When I was sitting there in my little Tesla and my foot wasn't on the, uh, uh, on the pedal that connects the engine or the wheels to the battery that makes it go, when that battery was disconnected, it was using up almost no engine, uh, sorry, no energy. 
So when your Tesla is in park and everything else is off, it's using almost no energy. Incredibly efficient. The only energy it's using is for those other vital functions like the air conditioner and my radio. But other than that, it's using almost no energy. Whereas this thing, brum, 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 using up huge amount of energy, but not going anywhere, just burning off excess. There's metabolism. And in the human body, the efficiency of energy is controlled, number one, by the prioritization, the need to burn off excess, futile cycles, and then the efficiency, let's assume you've been fasting for a long time, the efficiency of the way your body works metabolically is based upon your hormones, based upon hormonal cycling. Okay, now, sometimes the hormones cycle like this, up and down. Sometimes they're just flatlined or massively high. So if, if you are uh, um, insulin resistant or diabetic or obese, you flatlined your hormones at max. Insulin's up, glucagon's up, all the, the, the adrenaline's up, cortisol is up, all the hormones are functioning at max. Your body is burning off fuel like crazy because there's excess in there. That's a horrible state. It's a pro-inflammatory, high metabolic rate, horrible state to be in, even at rest. You're sitting there on your couch, you weigh 300 pounds, and you're sweating. Why? Because your body is trying to burn off that excess. It's desperately trying to protect itself. And all that inflammation is just part of, if you think about the, the, the brakes on a car burning red, that's what's happening in all your joints, in all of your body. I've got fibromyalgia, I've got back pain. That's just your body burning red with inflammation that comes from excess metabolism and certain triggers that are triggering the immune system and the inflammatory cascades in your body to excess. It's just an out of control, horrible place to be, waving my arms. As you get healthier, as you go protracted periods of time without eating, using your internal resources, as you switch from burning sugar to burning fat, and the body has to prioritize burning off excess sugar. So if you're glucose dominant, that is not a healthy place to be. You can be glucose dominant for a little while during and after a meal, but then that should subside and you should become fat dominant where you're burning off fat at a very, very slow, very calm rate. And when you're in ketosis and you're burning off fat just to manage the vital systems of your body, you're in the healthiest metabolic shape you can be in. So if you think about a car's engine, when the hormones are doing this, and most of the time when we look at blood work and we see the normal tables, what, what's the normal range? It's a very wide range and this huge fluctuation. That's to accommodate to people who are not healthy and you're trying to put them in a healthy bell curve range. But the bell curve is very high and very wide. So if you're in that normal range, your insulin may be high, your blood sugar may be normal, but you're requiring a lot of insulin to keep your blood sugar normal, especially when you're fasting. Your fasting insulin should be super low. So if your fasting insulin level, uh, is elevated, even though your blood sugar is normal, you're requiring a massive amount of work by the body to keep that blood sugar low. It shouldn't be so. So just like that car, that, that even if it's a gasoline car that pulls up to the light next to you, and it's just sitting there and quietly vibrating. Or my Tesla that's making no noise because I've taken the... the, the uh, uh, I've disconnected the battery when I'm parked, and yet it's still supplying the computer and the radio and the air condition, the vital organs. That thing's making no noise. No noise. And that's the healthiest metabolic state to be in. That vibration. So you may find that your TSH and your T3, which are polar opposite hormones, may be very low, both of them. You may find that your insulin and your glucagon are both very low you may find that your metabolic rate is super slow. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Because that means, if your hormones are flat-lined, that it doesn't need to be higher. Now, when you put your foot on the gas pedal, it's going to respond in a very powerful, positive way. Vroom! Well, my Tesla is going to go, without making any noise, but I'm using up the battery. So the point is that a very slow, very calm, very low metabolic rate at rest 
basal metabolic rate, is a beautiful thing, especially if it can respond when called upon. That's the holy grail of metabolism. But you don't need a high metabolic rate. Don't worry about what your metabolism does. You want to slow it down so low that your heart rate, like mine is, not right now, but normally in the 50s, that your blood pressure is 110 over 60, not 120 over 80. That your insulin is 3 to 4, that your C-peptide is 0.8 to 1.2, that your TSH is below 1.5, and your T3 is 27 to 3. That those hormones are low. That's what you're looking for. That is metabolic rate. So don't, don't oh, it's going to slow down the metabolism. The reason people talk about a higher metabolic rate is because they want to burn off the excess fat, but that's an unhealthy situation to begin with. The, the restoration of healthy metabolism of a very low basal metabolic rate with a responsive metabolic rate is the best way to go. And in order to get there, you have to consume way less therapeutically to get there. And during getting there, restoring a very low metabolic rate is going to use up those stores because the priority is to deal with the excess. So you're not going to have a low metabolic rate if you've already got this abundance that you're trying to take care of. Body doesn't work that way. So please, 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 don't be confused by all this, oh, my metabolism is going to slow down if I don't eat, my metabolism is going to... Bullshit, it's not. If you're not eating, there's still plenty going on inside. In my Tesla, my battery is not disconnected from the normal function of that Tesla, even if I've stopped at the, at the traffic light. It's just disconnected from the energy required to move. But that's the healthiest place to be. That muscle car looked beautiful, but it wasn't very efficient. It wasn't very efficient. He has to switch off his engine. And then the battery, which is the same as my Tesla, is going to run the car properly. So please, folks, understand metabolic rate. And don't be afraid of, my metabolism is going to slow down. Remember, the reason your metabolism is far from good. <laughs> I was going to use a different F word there. But the reason your metabolic rate is screwed up is because it's trying to cope with abundance. And then your numbers are all over the place. Understand how the body works most efficiently and do your level best to get it there because that's where longevity and health comes from. But that body should still be responsive. If I've made you think, I know this is a difficult, complex subject, but way too many gum flappers on the internet that do not understand vibrational hormonal economics and minimalistic hormonal economics to keep the pool of nutrition recirculating in your body with slight replenishment. That is the ideal place to be metabolically. And if you want to get there, if you need help, if you need help understanding that, if you need help understanding your blood work and where you are in that continuum, give me a shout. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. We have a whole team of people that can help you to analyze and understand your blood work, to understand how your diet and how your effort-based lifestyle influences your metabolism. 561-517-0642. And if this has resonated with you, try to keep these messages going. Try to keep this content going. Throw us a dollar at our PayPal account in the show notes. Thank you. Leave comments.